your first alert forecast. All right, as we take a look at the latest pattern of uh, your tired of the hotter conditions and yes, temperature in Wilmington hit 91 degrees this afternoon, hot and humid conditions. We had a couple of showers around uh, late morning into the early afternoon hours, but by and large, we've had great beach weather really almost the entire holiday weekend, except for some a period on Saturday. But changes are coming. We're actually going to see a little bit of a dip in the jet stream here as we head uh, through the next couple of days. And it's really going to establish itself here as we head towards the end of the week. That's going to drive a cold front through the area, and we're going to actually see high temperatures get this falling back into the lower 80s, maybe in some cases about 10 degrees colder than where we were right now and even better overnight lows, which have only been falling into the 70s recently, falling back to around 60 degrees, maybe even some upper 50s potentially as we head towards the end of the week. And it looks like even in some shape or form, uh, these cooler conditions will persist into next week. You can see some nice troughing right here across New England, stretching down into the Carolinas, so probably below normal temperatures at least through the end of the week and possibly into the weekend. Some indications of some warmer temperatures as we head into next week, but still nothing exceptionally warm. The exceptionally warm weather, well, there's been uh, record heat across much of Mexico. It looks like the southwest U.S. is really going to be baking and some of that moving its way into the Rockies in the central U.S., but not terribly hot here as we begin the uh, first part of June. All right, for your Tuesday, 88 degrees your high, so still a little bit hot tomorrow, but not as hot as it was today. And of course, course, uh, dew point values that you can see running right around 70 degrees. In terms of scattered thunderstorm chances, we're going to see the best chance uh, during the evening hours and then probably tapering off somewhat uh, once we get past, say, 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. But certainly over the next few hours, we are going to have a better chance of seeing some showers and storms. First floor digital Doppler, still nothing in southeastern North Carolina. But remember, just to our north, tornado watch in effect. It encompasses Onslow County, Duplin County, Sampson, Cumberland County, and this actually extends all the way up into the Washington metro area, the Washington DC metro area, even parts of Maryland encompassing this tornado watch until 11 p.m. The big storms right now firing up, it looks like right here along the North Carolina, Virginia border. So nothing here yet. And further to the south, there's actually a severe thunderstorm watch which encompasses Charleston and back into parts of Georgia. We'll time everything out with our hour by hour forecast model again. It looks like our model doing a good job initializing those big storms in northeastern North Carolina, but notice by about 7 p.m. we start to see some showers and storms firing up here, so we are going to keep the chance of scattered storms in the mix, and yes, some have the potential to be strong or severe, so keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling back from your Memorial Day destination. Showers and storms popping up, locally heavy rainfall, cloud to ground lightning strikes, and even a risk of a rotating storm not out of the realm of possibility, along with some hail. We'll keep the thunderstorms going through about 930, maybe 10 p.m. And then after that, looks like things should begin to settle down somewhat. Here is your 10 uh, day forecast highs in the upper 80s through Wednesday. Don't forget about our weather radio event taking place at the lows in Leland. That'll be taking place starting at four o'clock on Wednesday. And here comes the cooler weather, lower 80s for highs by Thursday and Friday. Look at the lows by the end of the week, around 60 degrees, meaning some 50s, not out of the question.